Okay, so I only have the 3-1, but we do have Nami leveled up now. Wow, and it counts, it sees it, like that plus two plus one for that spell we just played. Well, that's pretty lucky. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Diana Nami. This is gonna be an interesting uh, looking donation deck, mostly all Targon again making another Targon deck with Nami. Nami just works very well with Targon with these cards that can be multiple spells, Heavens Align, Gifts from Beyond, Spell Thief, that kind of stuff um, with Nami. This one's going to be a deck that's kind of focused on the elusives because, of course, once we, once we level up Nami, which is what we're going to be trying to do, every spell we cast, which hopefully we can then cast a lot of spells, grants plus two, plus one to the weakest other ally. And that could be some... Of, some elusives. We're going to have Fleet Admiral Shelly and Zap Sprayfin. Um, we will also have Lunari Shadestalker, a good 2-mana two 2-3 two, elusive with the Nightfall. We can find the Shadestalker with Gifts from Beyond. We are playing two copies of the Sky Shadow, so we won't always find Shadestalker, but the Sky Shadows is great at leveling up Nami because it's going to refill two spell mana for us. That's perfect for leveling up Nami. Um, but then Diana is just going to be doing a lot of awesome stuff. And plus, Diana could get buffed with by um, Nami some as well. Uh, let's see. Our other, like, Crescent Guardian, not an elusive, but Overwhelm. So if we were buffing up stuff, the, uh, uh, the Overwhelm is going to be very good with that too. Pretty excited about this deck. It should be really good. A lot of good quality spells. I really like Heavens Aligned. I think this card is awesome. Um, Gifts from Beyond is pretty awesome as well can do a lot of different things and then playing moonlight affliction over hush it costs two more mana but it's a nightfall card which is you know what you need for diana you need nightfall cards for the sky shadows and then also the whole they can't block this round that can be really important for like our larger elusives because usually your opponent will have like an elusive or two and you make them not be able to block um which I guess a Hush would make them not be able to block if they're strictly for the elusives, but that could help out for like Diana and stuff too. I don't know. I think Moonlight Affliction is pretty strong. We're going to be playing two of those over Hush, and we'll see. While we're playing the games, if it looks like you know Hush would have been better, we'll you know take that under advisement moving forward with the deck. But let's play some games. Here we go with Diana Nami. All right, we got Viego to start with. All right. We're using the Sentinel Diana. First time ever for me using the Sentinel Diana. Send this back, send this back. Viego's gonna be a tough one. We're gonna need to race Viego. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good one, Martin. Thanks for, thanks for donating this deck. I think this is gonna be good. So the question, of course, is do we use, do we play the Shade Stalker right here? Do we use Dust? Two mana make the Shade Stalker. Yeah. Other option, of course, is just saving spell mana, right? Because we do need to level up Nami. Saving spell mana is always good. Wow. For truth. I also want to save all these spells for after the after the Shelly. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. And they're really not doing much. I'm just wasting out on the attune mana. I don't think they're going to be a ruination deck. So this would be Nightfall, nightfall right now. Oh, that's focus speed anyway. Okay. Rise with 
start buffing up these elusives. And just keeping the Lunari Duskbringer down here to block. Well, so far so good. Want to make a Nightfall card in hand. Nopeify. Weren't weren't. So we'll play two more spells and buff these things up again. I could also do that next round. Ooh, and good thing we waited. Six out of seven. We have we have a fifty fifty shot of hitting if we go with the um, you know put a two mana unit in play we'd have a fifty fifty shot of hitting the thing that would uh, refill spell mana which would be awesome but that'll still do with just those fleet admiral shellies. GGs. All right, want to know? Got the Tide Caller, got a win. Draven Sion. Alright, so circuit the donation deck for Nocturne Nasus. Fearsome, reduce enemy attack. Cool, cool, I like it. Just like I like this hand. Sorry, Nami. I was kind of planning on leveling you up. But I'm going to play this thing that <laughs> eventually we'll be able to attack with. There we go, 18. Boom, ba boom. on Moon Weapon. Just gonna play this right now while we know we're definitely hitting the Boom Baboon. Now we're cooking. Let's boogie. Kind of weird. Embrace the current or be swept away. I'm not sure if I should just not play Nami right there and just you know get three spell mana. And it's our time. Keep up, keep up. Ooh, some plus figure is good. Worried about whirling death. All right, it's about four out of seven. I don't know if this is a good plan or not. This I could definitely hear the argument this is not a good plan. You cannot hold us down. Yeah, 
Yep. Was expecting whirling death. Come out and play. We're at six spell mana. So close. The will never know okay, so I only have the three one, but we do have Nami leveled up now. Wow, and it counts, it sees it, like that plus two plus one for that spell we just played. Well, that's pretty lucky. Hit them both. Ow. Alright, I hit Draven though, I do, I did want to hit Draven. This thing's gonna be pretty big. That we got. The Sky Shadows. Another Mega Rain. Survival skills. Well, no reason to. Like, so right now, Spell Thief is, can get Whirling Death, but no reason to attack. Fleet Admiral Shelly. I definitely need Watch you. Handler. I mean, what are we what are we doing here? Like, what are we what are we doing here? I don't want to cast all these spells, though, until the Shelly's in play. That's the thing. See? Now I have to, like, cast spells I don't want to. Alright, so that's five, eight. Sorry, Shelly. So they should be very dead next round. I can't imagine they can survive this. Unless, yeah. Unless they have burst speed blocker. Let the tide carry you. Rise Can't block. I can't back down. 19 power of the sky shadows. And there we go. Sorry, Shelly. I wanted to play you because you're cool, but, you know. I'm proud to call myself didn't get to. Two and oh. We actually defeated Draven Scion. They didn't play Draven. Or sorry, they didn't play Scion. Yeah, Nami decks are so good. They really are. Especially Nami Targon. Just work so well together. I really like that Sky Shadows too, because that Sky Shadows is what we needed to level up the Nami. We got Darkness Control up next. This looks like a good hand against Darkness Control. Doesn't do anything for a while, but you just want to be able to have some staying power against Darkness Control. And all the while, we are going to be building up our spell mana for Nami to level up. Oh, that card's so good. I want one. It's a good card back. Caitlyn card back. Astounding curiosity ahead. 
Shelly. So my instincts say grab the unit. Wow. This is a hand over here. But I'm gonna take out this Demacian Sentinel. I am scared of this thing. You know, that should just be like a 3-3 fearsome. Once they just kill one one thing. And that doesn't sound like something I want to deal with. So six out of seven for Nami. We've done a good job with the spell mana. Did plus two cost for the spell thief? Interesting. Debating between whether to whether or not to play the heavens aligned and you know, then be able to attune afterwards. So one. We have four mana left. So either way we have four mana left. So four mana we're playing two spells. We're not playing Yeah, probably two spells. All right. Good card. Maybe I should have gone moon. Maybe I should have gone with the moon weapon. Actually, so it's eleven damage right now. I can make it thirteen by playing a spell, but then I don't have like some blessed figure protection if I do that. Yeah, I guess I did give them the opportunity to play this darkness really well. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, they didn't do it. Interesting. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. Oh, I need this stun. So I didn't. Ready to fire. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that card before buff or not. The answer was not. We will resist.
All right, that'll do. How about that? Double Fleet Admiral Shelly getting some work done. And we're 3 0. Good game. All right, Tristana Poppy. Not Lulu Poppy. We got Tristana Poppy. Moonlight Affliction could be pretty decent against this deck, but I'm going to send it back. It's a 5 mana spill. We've already seen it win a game for us, though. And early game's going to be all about getting that spell mana. Otterpost being annoying as usual. And these Bandle cards are pretty good, creating everything. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Kind of racking up the spell mana first before we start playing stuff. Alright, that thing gotta go. Yeah, everything in Bandle just creates another card. <laughs> everything creates another card. Uh, I think I'll just save the spell mana. Yeah. Let's just get this. Let's level up this Nami, you know what I mean? Nami. Playing Nami will make it six. I think I want Heaven's the Lion to Because that's six, so now at the, we'll go with the Heaven's Line first so that round start, you know, round end. Save another spell mana, level up Nami. What do I think about Tristana? I think Tristana needs another expansion of, or yeah, another expansion of more multicolor allies. Like, there's some really, really good ones, like that one in particular. That one is perfect. But, I don't know, I think that it could also use some more help. Um... In, don't get the attune mana. This card advantage they got is so good. Well, that end goes according to plan. Owie. Good play by the opponent. Face your heretic. Got my Nami out of here. Oh wow, purify. Easy does it. That just create that had to have been created by it doesn't say, but that had to have been created by the conchologist, right? That is awesome. Man, I was definitely relying on that fleet, Admiral Shelley. Purify. Wow. Time to reveal our superior battle tactics. Keep up, keep up. I see an opening. 
This is not good. Not good at all. We always die to these really random cards the Loping Telescopes makes, right? Like, we've we've died to an 8-cost card, a 7-cost card, and now the 6-cost card is just wrecking us. Just seemingly every game, random card that it creates is devastating. Yeah, Loping Telescope is probably the best two-drop in the game, right? It's I can't imagine like if if it's not, then the Conchologist is right. It's got to be one of those two. No. I really wanted the. Oh, I really wanted the two three elusive because then that would have leveled up Diana. That's what I was going for here. I just know the yeah, because then then leveled up Diana, then we can moonlight affliction like two things, challenge another thing. Oh man, that was unfortunate. We were. It was one third hit the sky shadows, two third hit the other. Yep, could have just gone and got the Calibrome and just shot this five two. But yeah, we got Loping Telescoped and Conchologist this game, that's for sure. <laughs> Surprised they made that block. I don't know what all they have, but I'm surprised they made that block. Oh, they, they actually just have this card in their hand this time. I've always only, only seen this card from uh, Loping Telescope. So basically, like the you know attack with the five two, we can block. Same, you know, we can block these things. Oh, this card's not even ephemeral. That card just stays out for good. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, good game. So I needed to do a better job protecting, which I could have. I could have played a little bit slower and protect my fleet, fleet Admiral Shelley and my Nami. Um, you know, I I had that four mana Sunblast Vigor. I need to do a better job protecting both of them, especially you know attacking into Purify. I didn't even think about Purify, um, but that those two things, you know, not protect like those two cards, them killing them that round, that lost me the game. But all thanks to Loping Telescope and Conchologist, the two best two drops in the game. And we have Zoe Vi. I got a Targon Mirror. We play Bandal City Victor. I do have a uh, donation deck that was just sent in today to play a Bandal City Victor deck with Mirror Mage and Glorious Evolution. We could play Loping Telescope in this deck. 
I have really liked Loping Telescope with Nami. It just doesn't really fit the Nightfall cards in Diana. But if you're playing Nami with Zoe or Aphelios, one of those cards, then the Loping Telescope fits perfectly. Alright, Pill Cascade test. They failed. Failed the Pill Cascade test. Alright, I want to play a big 5 3 Overwhelm and Smash. No. Lunari, Plan didn't work out. Old Zoe Videx used to play a lot of Guiding Touch. I mean, I guess, you know, maybe dealing the damage to this and not having to make a rain at the time, they probably have a good chance of healing. Yeah, they probably have a good chance of healing. My people are counting on me. Likely going to be using Guiding Touch. Oh no, alright. But you know, make them have it. Hey Rocksphere, thank you, coming on over from YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, this is where I stream every single day and put up the videos up on YouTube, three or four of them each day. We're on our third deck today with Diana Nami. No, my Pill Cascade. I liked my Pill Cascade. I don't want to play anything here because I, I really need to get this Nami leveled up. I need to get the spell mana going. Cool. Yeah, glad you like all the off meta builds. Yeah, that's what we do here every day. Tomorrow, we got um, Random Champion Casual Friday. Yuck. Fine. Uh, this isn't good. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. So now, Random Champion Casual Friday tomorrow. Can you improve perfection? What kind of... The um, Rise, the Nightfall cards haven't looked that great. I really like Diana, but the Nightfall cards just in general haven't looked that good. You know, I wish you know, like if we could just have like more spell thieves and loping telescopes, and you know, like we could have you know have just all those kind of things with these matches because we've we have been just running out of cards, unfortunately. Have you ever seen Triple Talia on board? Yes, we built a deck to have Talia Dawn and Dusk and Elusive, and we built an Elusive Talia Dawn and Dusk combo deck. Got it to work a couple of times. It was really cool. Rough. 
Okay, they okay they hour hourglass Italia and then played another Talia to copy the hourglass. Yeah, we had a cool like you make you make Talia elusive and then dawn and dust the Talia, so then you attack for thirty elusive damage. That was the deck that we had. It was really cool. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> the one thing that that kills. Minimorph is powerful, yes, but I don't think it's overpowered. No. Leaving behind the 3-3 is a pretty big downside of having 6 mana burst speed removal. Because uh, that 3... Like, 3-3s three will kill people pretty quickly. Mother We're going to be losing this game, but we got Diana in play. Still a pretty good showing of 3 and 2. That's not bad. Very good hand from our opponents the last two games. Yeah, two games of very good hands. That aloof travelers they had last time to make me discard the pale cascade, that was that was mean. I had to have this Diana try to kill the Vi. But obviously it shouldn't matter that much of them having all these cards in hand. They just had much, much more card draw than we did. And more ways to create cards. And champion stayed alive a lot longer. There we go. This deck's really close. It's a little off. We just didn't have enough cards, right? Like, you know, we just ne never really had enough cards. Like, there is, like, Guiding Touch that we could play for card draw, but I really don't like that card in this kind of deck. Like, we we weren't didn't really need to heal stuff. I could see, honestly, playing, like, Salvages, right? Because the curve is so low with such, such low-cost cards. I could see playing, like, Salvage to be able to get more cards. Being four mana draw two... Fortune Croaker is kind of interesting, especially with like Shade Stalkers. We need more cards. The Gifts from Beyonds didn't look good. I think I think that was like the card that I was the most disappointed in was Gifts from Beyond. It was a spell that got a unit, but a very expensive way for a spell to get a unit. I think maybe like because you know it's four mana put a you know four mana put one of your two drops into play, and I kind of think I'd rather just have had like four mana draw two cards. I did like the Moonlight Affliction, and obviously Fleet Admiral Shelley Sprayfin. Nami, like that's that's all amazing. Pick a card's a, a pretty good option actually, because of how how cheap our cards are and everything. Actually, pick maybe pick a card instead of salvage. Definitely needs more card draw. Me, needs more ways to get more cards because we we were just running out of cards too much. There are a lot of other good nightfall options. I wouldn't mind if we if we really want to play Diana in nightfall. I wouldn't mind going farther into the nightfall stuff. Right, like Crescent Guardian never did anything. We did play Crescent Guardian the one time that last game, but it just got it just died immediately. I could see going into like Lunari Priestess, right? Like where you get to invoke. Cloven Way's always been pretty cool. 
Eclipse Dragon gives you a lot of card advantage. Like Eclipse Dragon could be a cool uh, top end Nightfall card that creates a dragon and a Celestial, and is just a seven seven that's that's super big. That's that changes the deck though. You know, makes it more of like a, a control deck. But as we had it set up, we kind of just like have to like play our elusives right away and hope our elusives don't die, and then can kill them before our opponent kills us. So basically, Priest, Priestess and Eclipse Dragon are two other ones that I'd be thinking about. Could also go Cygnus. If, if you want to continue it, like, with this, could, could play, like, some Cygnus that could give, like, your Diana elusive and, like, your... Or, like, whatever else you make, like, really large elusive with the Nami. Um, that's another option as well. But I like these heaven these Heavens Aligned that just create, like, one of these cards because it's usually going to create something pretty good. And it just helps enable so many different things and it's a spell. Or something just a little off with the deck. It's close. Very close, but just a little off. Just needs some more staying power. But then again, like maybe maybe Diana's not the way to go. You know, maybe just like what I'm the, you know, what I'm thinking of. Maybe it's just like playing Zoe Aphelios Twisted Fate, like these kind of cards, and then not having to play the Nightfall cards is just the better way to to play this Targon Nami deck. That would kind of be my guess. All right, but but anyway, that's gonna be it here though for Diana Nami. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. I know there's a couple people, other people on YouTube that wanted to see Diana Nami. You got ideas to improve the deck? Let me know in the comment section. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely be really interested in that because uh, there's other people, like I said, they've been really wanting to see Diana Nami. So. Uh, help other people out. If you got any good ideas, put them in the comment section. But that's going to be it here for this deck. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.